Hi. Hello, RS members. How are you? I hope everybody is fine. Yeah, in this video I'm going to use my, my voice. I hope this mic uh, is good. It's the first time I will use this mic. So I hope it's the quality of the voice will be good. I can't make this video uh, twice. I don't have much time. And in this video I am going to answer the question of our friend and brother seeker but before that I'd like to say that I am really very pleased of being within you guys in this uh, beautiful server everybody is doing well in this server and uh, I really love it yeah that's the truth I really love this server and uh, I apologize if I am almost absent but I can't help it so let's see the question of our brother seeker here and if it's a dot cap file from ASUS you use same method extract body of capsule and receive if necessary right okay in fact uh, I am using the same method as in this video with the dot cap files from ASUS and in this video I am going to show you how I do it myself and I always do it like this uh, because it's quicker it's weak. even if I have LBO which can do it quicker but uh, I really love this way of doing things uh, it's easy just uh, any editor can do it so I'm going to use the same file as our friend have used in this video if I still remember, it's a Z170. Oh, right? And Asus. Yeah, it's a Z170. Let's download it. Z170-A BIOS. Okay. Okay. Arriver. Driver and tools, BIOS and firmware, download. Yeah, let's use this folder. Save, open the folder, extract here, open. As you can see, here we have our .cap file. So let's drag and drop it in our editor. And now we have to look for the header of our BIOS image. And to find it, we need to be familiar with BIOS files. Here is our header. Here it is. Asus files are always recognized by this header and edges files as always start with uh, with the uh, offset like this the first offset are always the first line always is like this so we are not going to select our block from here no we are going to select our block from here so right click select block we are going to use the length and the size should be 16 16 megabytes yeah okay so for 16 megabytes we use the hex length of one zero 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 six six zeros okay here we have our block we copy it we open a new file 
we just paste it there using control V OK and we save it as uh, Z170 dash A point bin file point bin Okay, here it is, and the size is exactly 16 megabytes, 16384 kilooctets. This is the standard size of 16 megabyte binar binary files. Okay. Uh, so we may use LBO to extract it with LBO. We are we are going to extract the same file using LBO and then uh, compare between the two the two output files at the end to see if we have done it well. So let's open the LBO. It's already opened. So we are going to use the use extraction. This. We are going to open our file here. Yeah. Yeah. Open. File. You see here the size is not a standard size. This is not a standard size. It should be. It should be 60 mega byte. So we are going to extract the views image by clicking this button. As you can see here, we can use this dot cap file to repair uh, our original file. We open our original dump here. We choose it here, and we open our um, our uh, image our views image after extraction of course here so we're going to extract our views image that's it let's put it here i'm going to give the same name okay. oh. let's reduce open our folder we have here the one extracted okay let's close this one we have here the one extracted with LBA and now I'm going to open the one I extracted with the HXD editor and I'm going to analyze them or compare them sorry <coughs> bingo the files are identical so we can use any one of them to program our chip i hope it's clear guys i have to quit now and if any question you can ask in the server either in general or in or uh, directly in or direct message bye bye guys I have to go now and good night everybody bye